right, Fight fans, you all still with us. Make some noise. I love you, Detroit, and everybody watching worldwide. If you're ready for the action to continue, say, yes, I am. All right, well, our co-main event of the evening is scheduled for three rounds in the bantamweight division. Please welcome to the blue corner, Rain Guerrero. Here we go, the return of the Latin warrior, Pearl Gonzalez. Pearl, I'm so sorry, this is Rain Guerrero, Drop Guerrero. My apologies. She's here, she's hungry, and she's looking for the finish. Of the next couple of years, she became a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, lost 100 pounds, and gained the confidence and grit to persevere. And now she realizes this is the biggest opportunity of her career, and she wants to take full advantage. Tremendous story, tremendous human interest story, and tremendous victory in life. But she's going to be taking on a woman whose legacy in mixed martial arts it's not disputed. She is a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go back up to Ryan Nico for the introduction of her opponent. All right, Fight fans, now it's time to welcome to the red corner, Pearl Gonzalez. Now the right introduction. The Latin warrior coming out with her niece who dances Folklorico, which she's very proud of her brown roots, and you could see her performance. I mean, Pearl, every time I think she, she brings it, she shows it, she shows up and she shows out. And a performance like this, you know, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see. And you will see her in just a few minutes. She lives in Chicago, and she is looking forward to the next XFC show. She was on our XFC show at the RP Funding Center in Lakeland, Florida. And now she's back. That was in April 12th. And we're on the last day of May. And Pearl Gonzalez is about to grace us with her wonderful presence. A lady who is ready to get it done. And there she is, Pearl Gonzalez. Johnny, you take it from here. Beautiful. I'll be honest, Ronnie, I can't even hear you. I think you went up to me, Pearl Gonzalez, Every time she walks to the cage, she walks with such an amazing purpose. XFC fans were reintroduced to Pearl Gonzalez last month at XFC 50, and she did not disappoint with a dominant first round armbar victory. And you can't forget, she was the inaugural XFC flyweight champion back in 2013. And she wants to fly the XFC flag. And she feels like she has evolved as a fighter and she's better than she's ever been. Back to you. Thanks a lot. I think we learn so much anytime that she comes into the ring because she proudly brings her heritage with her each and every step. And what I like about that is that it becomes a learning process even for me. What do I hear? Why am I hearing it? Why is it so important? And you know what happens? Just like me, so many others are embraced by that proud tradition, that proud culture that she displays, and I think it is simply fantastic. That's right, she says she loves dancing. She's so proud of her niece, who, who's a dancer. And it's lovely how she walks in with her family, her culture, she's so proud. She's proud of her heritage, and she, she's not only proud of her heritage, she brings the fight. But you know what she told me about this? She said, this has been one of the hardest training camps I have ever had. This fight, I'm ready for. She's not taking anyone for granted on the other side. The same situation happened with Monica Medina back in Lakeland, Florida in April. And this young lady, I'm talking about Pearl Gonzalez, she said, bring it because there's nothing to it but to do it. We are witnessing greatness. She has yet to get into the ring. She is taking her time because she's making sure the mouthpiece is there. The gloves are right. The inspectors are looking at it. And do you have the proper thing? Anything behind your ears? This is what you do in MMA because it may take time as far as television time is concerned, but it's important to it, make sure that everything is done right. Yes, sir. You know, she looks focused. She's already looking at her opponent. Out of 10th Planet, San Diego. Proud. Latina, powerful warrior. And there she is. Returning Pearl. here. 
Gonzalez. Let's go up to our Cajun announcer, Ryan Nico, so she can do the proper introductions. Ryan. All right, Fight Fans, if you're ready for this co-main action, say yeah! We are scheduled here for three rounds in the Bantamweight division. Our three judges scoring this bout cage side, Joe Collins, Joe Hickler, and Brian Duca. Our referee in charge of the action, Patrick Schmidt. And now, we introduce our fighters. First, Fighting out of the blue corner. She wears the aqua trunks with a white detail. She stands five feet, six inches tall. She scaled in 132.8 pounds. A professional of seven fights with five victories. Representing H-Time, that's Houston, Texas. Here is Rain Drop Guerrero. Now, fighting out of the red corner, she wears the white trunks with the shiny, pretty detail. She stands five feet, four inches tall. She scaled 129.8 pounds. A professional with 17 fights, 12 victories. She is the former XFC flyweight champion. Fighting out of San Diego, California, here is Pearl Gold. Third man in the ring, Patrick Schmidt, gives final instruction. Okay, ladies, let's have a good, clean fight. Come out when the bell rings. Touch him up. Let's see if Raindrop can make it to the first round. Tail of the tape, primitive performance. You see it right there. These young ladies, man, don't think records say it all because they're competitive. And look at the weight difference. 129, 132.8. But then when you talk about the reach, yes, the shorter fighter doesn't have it, but the taller fighter does only by an inch. It is Pearl Gonzalez the last time out. It didn't even last a round. I know, and that's what she's going for this time. She's always going for the finish, but, you know, Rain is going to also look for that finish early in the first round. Pearl's seen it all, done it all. She's been bare knuckles. She's fought in professional grappling matches, brown belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu, so, and she starts very aggressive. They both start very aggressive, so now you see. I mean, the action started quick with both trading, both trading punches. Pearl's uh, first love was boxing, and Rain has really good boxing, and Pearl knows that. So she said, I'm going to bring it to her wherever she brings it to me. Well, that left hand has been finding the raindrop and it's been raining down on her. But look at, of course, Guerrero coming back and fighting too. Both standing right in the middle and trading punches. Somebody's going to somebody's gonna go down. Beautiful One thing movement Pearl is from doing Pearl. Is Beautiful that combination. Is the punches. Those were straight punches by Pearl, not whooping punches. And that is giving her the advantage now. Beautiful knee to the body by Pearl too. And we're going to see how good uh, the defense Rain has here. Rain here needs to just turn over to try to get out of that cage if, so that she can, she, she's defending well. Peril throwing those knees. Beautiful head control from Peril. Beautiful knee, connected. So Rain, what she needs to do here is turn around, turn, turn her back away from the cage so that she, she's there defending Pearl, looking for that single, single leg takedown, defending Rain. Really, really good defense by Rain. Rain has been throwing that left uppercut as well and a right uppercut anytime she has the opportunity to do it. You can't see it from this camera angle, but those are some very close fights and very close punches, I should say. The exchange from both are very aggressive. Rain, you know, she's been having trouble finding an opponent. Uh, and, and she's so happy to be here trading with Pearl. A legend. She's very honored to, to fight her. Pearl's got to watch out because some of her punches are starting to whoop and some of Rain's punches are starting to come down. Beautiful connection from, from Rain to the body of Pearl. She's connecting those knees. Now she's looking for that takedown. Good elbow. Those, those knees to the body from Pearl. But now Rain switched the position around and has Pearl 
against the cage. What a competitive first round here in the XFC. It's in our semi-main event. Out. Now Pearl, now Pearl looking for that double leg takedown here, but she's gonna use, she's gonna have to use a lot of energy to do so. And Rain has a really good uh, wrestling defense. That's not the first time that Pearl has tried that double leg takedown. And look at it right now with, of course, those left hands to the body of Rain Guerrero. And she was able to come out now, of that so with some both... smart right hands. And both fighters are giving it all that they have. And now in the center of the ring, look at the punches. And they are coming in bunches. And look at the face of Pearl right at the top of the head. Blood coming down. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That is, those are women warriors right there. Now you see both of them bleeding. But you can see the damage that, that rain has caused on Pearl's forehead. Pearl still looking forward, still going forward, pushing forward, looking for the takedown. What a first round, Ronnie. Well, the last time she didn't go through the first round, a minute and 30 seconds left here in round number one. You've got to give credit to Guerrero because she's putting up an effort, but it's all about that Look at break the that's blood. going to happen. I mean, how do they stop that blood from coming out of Pearl Gonzalez? Pearl doesn't stop. She is attacking, coming forward. She's gonna, she's gonna have to do a little a head, more move, more head movement. Here. She's letting you know she's not just another pretty face. This lady can fight with blood and guts, blood, sweat, and tears. That's what they call it in combat sports. You're watching it live on Thriller, and it is wow. M -M -A. wow, wow, wow! Oh, take down beautiful takedown, reversal, reversal for Ryan by Guerrero. What, what, what a fight! Wow, is this the first round? Amazing. This is the first round, and there's less than 40 seconds left in this round. Brain here. Brain here being patient. Looking for, oh, kick to the body. What a fight. And a right what a war. Pearl Gonzalez is still relentless. And that was a left hook, but then she got countered by a right hand. My goodness, this is what it's all about. It is MMA. The next generation and these ladies are going down and getting down in D-Town. Ladies and gentlemen, the round is over. We're coming back with so much more at the bell. Swinging till the bell rings. This is, this is a war. This is what I love to see. Both ladies bringing it. Amazing. Wow. Let's take a look at some of the action that happened here in round number one. And look at the face of Pearl wow. Gonzalez. She's bleeding that's, down. And yet, look at what happens. That's right a here, Latin warrior left. for you. Look at some of these punches both of these ladies are throwing. They are relentless in their contact. And there's the knee. You were talking about it. But Guerrero, oh my goodness, rain drop came raining down on Pearl. And when you saw that look, see, Pearl got in some great punches there, but look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful combos from both of them. That takedown, beautiful judo takedown, but the, the reversal, reversal from great. Aaron was beautiful. They didn't stop punching till the bell rang. Can they do it for two rounds? Can they make it to the third round? What now, has been the strategy? And does Pearl Gonzalez have anything left after the round that she went in? No more blood. Now talk know. about the fight of the night. These ladies are still in the show. Still in the show and there's a whole lot of place and way to go. And the doctor wants to take a look at Pearl Gonzalez. Let's see what the doctor says. He takes a look at the cut. He says it's okay. She gets to go. You've got to appreciate what we just saw because here in Michigan, they care. This is right. This is a, this, you know, Pearl started her career here at the XFC cage and she is excited to continue her career now as a trailblazer still back here at the XFC cage. Well, she's very proud of the mere fact of the distinction that she has with the XFC. But the most important thing is that she needs to win this fight. I would like to see a little more ground game. If Pearl, if Pearl set up a, tech, a, a, a good takedown and worked her, her jiu-jitsu on the ground. Did you see that right hand that time by Guerrero? It spent Pearl's head around. Yeah. And Pearl knows that, that Rain brings, she has good boxing. This is what she said. But she said she was going to be ready to do what she's doing, is standing in the middle and trading with Rain. But see, the difference is punching in combinations. Isn't that what you see? Both ladies trying to counter with the leg kicks. Oh, up high. But Pearl is unbalanced because Guerrero was able to Good catch doctor. that kick. 
Oh, nice up kick from Pearl. Oh, she told her, get back up. Yeah. I don't want to fight you down. I want to get you back up. Standing. I want to put the pound on you because I like making sure that I jab and I strike here at round wow. number two. Now we have the action right in front of us. Good knee to the body from Pearl. Now she's reversed here. Rain just reversed her here. Let's see who's going to be looking for the takedown. Good knees from Pearl. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that elbow from Rain? Yeah, Rain is a very smart fighter. Keeping beautiful knee clinch from, from, from Pearl here. Beautiful knees. Great clinch here. She's going to try to look for that judo throw again. What a fight. Pearl what a, left a hand fight. Straight down the middle. These ladies almost wow. caused some more damage. Pearl with the left jab. Yes, uh, another Rain jab by Pearl. Training at a war training center in Houston. Coach Jeremy, I mean, they've been working a lot, very aggressive. Like they say, Rain started her career right -hand and lost 100 Pearl. pounds after getting introduced to MMA. So all she in has the a past is about the present right now. And right, we, what we're seeing is that all of a sudden, Gonzalez is having some success and was able to counter at that time with another left hand. And Pearl coming forward. She's keeping that pressure. But she's got to make sure that head does not stay high up in the air. Being patient now, being a little more patient now. The stand-up game for both of these women, remarkable. I, I mean, Pearl's trained the, with the best of the best. You know, she, she, she moved to Pensacola to train out there in boxing. She trained with Amanda Serrano. So she's seen it all, too, when it comes to boxing. But Rain is bringing it. That good lateral movement. That moving around, Looking. that striking, and those leg kicks that time by Rain. Rain is starting to bleed heavily from her nose, and that's because of the accumulation of right hands and left hands that oh, she has taken. Nice body shot from, from Pearl. Once this again, Pearl is putting it all together. Her resume says she can, and that's exactly what she's doing. This she is knows really in hard. round number two, she's in a fight. And that oh. was a right hand that time by Guerrero right on the head. Oh, and a flying Back fist. Spin. And wow. it didn't work. But it could have been dangerous. Those jabs, those jabs are beautiful advantage. from, from Rain. Now a connection from Pearl. Pearl is trying to set up that right hand. See that blood starting to come down heavily from the nose of Guerrero? Yes, these ladies both are bleeding. And both, again, Pearl still keeps bringing the pressure. She's just moving forward. Moving forward, nice combos from, from, from Rain. Nice combo from Rain, but she also got hit with a vicious left hand, straight left hand coming in. And then she gets Pearl with the right once again, followed by a left. What a fight, what a fight. This fight is hard to, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's going to go all three rounds. Oh, Pearl. Pearl trying to take a advantage any time that Rain drop turns around with a spinning kick and throws herself at a disadvantage because her back is the Pearl, that's when Pearl needs to jump on her. I think Rain, I mean, I, I would like to see Pearl, you know, continue throwing bombs and trying to take uh, Rain down to see some more ground because it, it, Rain is having the, the, the advantage uh, when it comes to the striking. It's back and forth, but Rain is more comfortable in the stand-up. Well, they obviously are more comfortable in the stand-up because the one thing we haven't seen is Pearl take her down, or she take Pearl down for any extensive amount of time. She's had really great. Reigns had really, really good takedown defense. It's a very hard fight to score when They're you consider the way things are. And you can see Calvin Johnson is enjoying everything. Not too far from just outside the ring. Now you see her aunt there in the celebrating in the beautiful Mexican dress. What a round, what a fight, what a fight. We're about to go to the third and final round of this competition. And remember the last time we saw Pearl Gonzalez, it only lasted one round. But right now she's earning her money. She's getting her take because of the simple fact, win or lose, she knows that she has been in a fight. Round number three, and that's, of course, our round card girl. We thank them all for joining us here.
in Detroit, Michigan. As they say, what up though? Ronnie Duncan, along with Jessica Algalore. And as you can see, this is what it's all about. The third and final round. Ronnie, these ladies are still in the show. In our pre-fight, I said that was a possibility. Yes, I said the did. ladies could be the one individuals that could get this done. And I'm telling you right now, we got a heck of a main event coming your way. But first, let's see what happens with this in the third and final round. Less than five minutes to go to determine who wins or who loses. Both coming out swinging. Both coming out swinging. I would love to see uh, Pearl change her level uh, when Rain throws those straight punches to, to go for the takedown. She needs to time that. Now Rain going, looking for the takedown of her own. Nice knee connecting from Rain. Pearl looking for that takedown. That's what I want to see. Oh, she needs to get that arm out of there. Rain doing a good job with that wizard lifting uh, the arm of Pearl so that she can defend that takedown. The corner. corner is calling for her to come out of those exchanges swinging, and that's the corner of Pearl Gonzalez. And that would be a great thing to do, to add that to the arsenal of this right now. But when you talk about the punches and the effect of the punches, wow, there was a left hand that time by Raindrop Guerrero, and that set Pearl up against the cage, right up on the fence. As a now, matter of fact, she bounced off the fence. Yeah, now Pearl trying to get that inside control so that she can stop some of those punches from Rain. Throwing a little punches, punches that come in punches, I can tell you that. So now we see uh, Rain getting a good cage control. Under three and a half minutes left here in the third and final round. Good head positioning there from Rain. Pearl probably looking here to try to take Rain down once again, but. She needs to circle out of the cage, but Rain doing a good job with that, that head positioning. Oh, reopen that that uh, that cut on for, on Pearl's forehead. And those uppercuts and some of those short punches. As you can see, left hands. And I'm talking about the raindrop. And they're starting to accumulate on Pearl Gonzalez. Could be could this be the fight we didn't think we would see? Could I mean this, this be was the raindrop dropping the pearl? This was the the fight for me. This was my, my favorite fight of the night, and they they de they're delivering. They're delivering for sure. Yeah, Pearl needs to circle out of there. Nice knee that connected. Pearl connected. That head position. Now is she amazing. winning the round because she's keeping Pearl up against the fence? Oh, a right hand straight down the middle, and that shook Pearl. I think that, uh, you know, Rain has been connecting with her punches really well. And defending those takedowns that Pearl's been looking for. She needs to circle out. Pearl needs to circle out of the cage. Get out of, she needs to get out of the cage. But Rain putting really good head positioning and not allowing Pearl to do anything. But Pearl looking for that takedown once again. Rain reversed. You see how that wizard, Rain does a good job of lifting, of using that wizard to lift and defend the takedowns that Pearl's been trying to. Pearl is taking a beating right now by Raindrop. A minute and 19 seconds remaining here in round number three. Yeah, she's gonna. How she's much gonna, time? You gotta ask yourself: Is time on the side of Pearl Gonzalez? Is this all about Guerrero? She has had her up against the fence, perhaps primarily most here in the third round. Can she? What can she do? It's less than a minute left to go here in round number three. It's either now or never for Pearl Gonzalez. I mean, she 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 can you know she still has a little time to go for that takedown and get a submission, but it's not looking it's not looking very well because Rain has a really good. Takedown defense, and she's doing a really good job right now of securing a dominant position here. The academic definition Pearl. is simply this. She's in control. 
total control, and she's she's creating some damage here. The she face continues. is all bloody that of Pearl Gonzalez. Head that position. became a deficit, what we saw there in round number one. And once again, look at those left hands up against the fence. And that is, of course, the raindrop Guerrero. And she is trying to put a drop with under 12 seconds to go in the fight. We'll shut up and just watch the action. Wow, those knees. She continues to fight. It went three rounds, but this could be the victory of her career against Pearl Gonzalez. Pearl Gonzalez, a bloody mess what? here. And what a fight. But when you saw it coming, you didn't see the storm. She came from one out of Houston, Texas. But now Rain Guerrero looks like she's weathered her storm, her personal storm in the ring of Pearl Gonzalez. If I had to pick a winner, it's going with the lady in the blue corner. What a war. What a beautiful fight we had here. Fight of the night, hands down. I mean, she brought it. And no wonder nobody wanted to fight Rain. She, she had a hard time fighting, you know, finding a fight, and no wonder. Well, there she is, a lady who is trying her best. And look at that. They're still administering that cut right in the middle of her head. Here are some of the rounds. And I'm talking about the final round, and the action was fast, and it was furious. Look at both ladies as they continue to do what they do best. And I'm talking about throwing punches. But the punches and bunches were thrown by the raindrop, and she was dropping bombs on Pearl Gonzalez. Wow, those uppercuts were vicious. That head control keeping Pearl against the cage was beautiful. I mean, look how she controlled Pearl's head and throwing those uppercuts and those, those combos. But Pearl never stopped fighting. That warrior, that 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 trailblazer, she never stopped fighting. Beautiful fight for the ladies. Nice, nice. Here you see that nice clinch from Pearl with those vicious knees. These ladies brought it tonight. This was the fight of the night, in my opinion. Well, we have a winner, and the person with the score can tell you more. That is the one and only Ryan Nico. All right, Fight fans, I need you all right here, right now, to make a whole lot of noise for these Warriors and their performance tonight. That was... We go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Judge Joe Hickela and Judge Joe Collins score the bout 30 to 27. Judge Brian Duca scores about 29-28. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Rain Drop Guerrero. Like I said, she would be the winner, and she did it unanimously. The Rain Drop threw some bombs, and they dropped. And great boxing, great striking that we saw here tonight in Detroit, Michigan. And we also saw the combination of an excellent fight card put together by McGee Wright and Aubrey Davis. Amazing. Let's give credit where credit is due. Absolutely. They are the matchmakers. For them to have been able to forecast that kind of action, pretty impressive. Impressive indeed. What a fight. What a war. What a war. Just put on what an amazing war. show and left their heart and soul in the cage. Wow. Let them hear it. Such. Rain Guerrero, I'm going to keep it simple. How does it feel to have the most spectacular moment of your career right now? Uh, well, first and foremost, I want to thank God. Um, that's most important. Uh, second, I want to thank my team, my family, my coaches, uh, Josh coming all the way out here for me. Um, this feels amazing, you know? Worked really fucking hard, let me tell you. And thank you all for um, all the booze, because that fired me up, so. That was for y'all. Well, you bested a world-class competitor. Your inside game is insane. Your phone booth, your dirty boxing. Is that something you had planned to use tonight? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I was planning to make her leak. I was planning to give her all I got. I just wanted to be careful with her hip tosses. You know, you saw we were prepared for that, so. Uh, but uh, Pearl is a gangster. Yeah. Let me tell you, um, it's very hard for me to find an opponent in Texas. So shout out to her. Um, I've looked up to her for her career. She really put on for the women and showed us, you know, 
uh, paved the way for girls like me, so it was an honor. Thank you, Pearl, for taking this fight, because like I said, I can't find one in Texas, so I came all the way out here. Thank you, Pearl. Well, I'm sure you'll be back very soon in XFC. Congratulations to Raindrop Ganeto. Raindrop dropping bombs, and she got it done. Oh, uh, look. Here's some highlights of that round. What a magnificent round. And when you talk about pounding, she got it done standing up. What a beautiful story. What a beautiful fight. These ladies exchanged till the end from start to finish. Those combos, Pearl with that beautiful takedown and Rain with that reversal. Front kick. Pearl, you know, took her down once and, and called her back up. That elbow. Those elbows that were raining from rain. And she said she wanted to make a pearl leak and there was a blood leak indeed. And there was the victory. Beautiful. And the victory cry that is all about what I'm doing and getting it done. 